A report just released from the National Institutes of Health has important news for women who may have struggled with a recent pregnancy. Joining us now to tell us more about it is medical reporter Liz Bonus. Liz. Hi Paula, this report just released uh, is one of the first of its kind to really look at how soon a woman should get pregnant again after losing a baby, especially early in a pregnancy. We asked the experts at TriHealth why this really could change what is recommended for women, and they say it's really encouraging news. It turns out trying to conceive soon after a pregnancy loss may actually increase the chances of having a healthy baby. Previous advice had said that women needed to wait at least three months due to concerns about the mother rebuilding a nutrient called folic acid or folate. It's found in green leafy vegetables and pregnant women usually need it from a supplement. It prevents birth defects such as spina bifida. That can impact a baby's brain, spine, and limbs. But what the recent study showed is it doesn't seem to have an impact. And actually, um, patients have a better chance of getting pregnant soon after the loss uh, than waiting uh, after three months or three to six months as the original uh, recommendations had been. Dr. Regina whitfield Kakesi says this study confirms that since women often have an easy time getting pregnant again in the first few months after a pregnancy loss, there's no need to delay for fear of losing another baby. Based on this new study then, what kind of recommendation would you give to your patients that had had, say, an early loss in one pregnancy? It certainly would be a nice summary to give to them, to encourage them that all is not lost with this recent miscarriage and uh, hopefully would encourage them to try with the next, um, the next month or the next cycle. So you looked at this trial, did you feel like it was a well-conducted study? It was a valid study and it, the results actually support what we see clinically. I can think of a number of patients who um, have proven the results of this study. The study applies to women who've experienced a loss without known complications at less than 20 weeks gestation. It found that these women have the same chances, if not greater, of having a live birth than those who wait three months or more. Now, this information comes out of a larger NIH study, but investigators concentrated on 1,000 women who'd had a pregnancy loss in the first 20 weeks. You know, I'm a dietitian trained, and so this is exactly the opposite of what they would tell you because they were really worried about yeah. those nutrients. Right. So it's wonderful news. And so I said, why is it that you get pregnant so easily right after? And she said, it's almost like the, the brain and the body just kind of know what to do. Really? So a lot of times people have trouble getting pregnant. They'll get pregnant, they'll lose a baby, they'll get discouraged. She said, no, go ahead and try because your body's kind of primed for that. Isn't that interesting? It is, so certainly talk to your doctor, but very encouraging. Yes, yeah. and it's okay. so nice that it's a science and we're always learning more. Right. Yeah. All right, we have a link if you want to check out that study, by the way, at local12.com.